Hi again from the garden. So this week's video is a little bit different than the rest of my videos. I don't have any bouquets I'm making this morning. I don't have any big projects that I'm doing out here in the garden, but I did want to make a video just to share with you what is going on in the garden right now and what is coming next. So I am in zone 5A in Northwest Iowa. And throughout the summer, I have consistently been doing two local farmers markets. The one here in my town, which is Holstein, Iowa, just ended last week. And then the one that I do in the neighboring town, which is Ida Grove, which is about 15 minutes away, that goes through the end of the month, but I'm done doing that one for the year also because I have a couple of really big projects coming up, which is what I wanted to share with you in this video. So next week I'm going to be working on an order for a local client. She needs six $25 bouquets. And while that doesn't sound like a lot to the normal flower farmer, um, that'll be quite a bit for me since I am also preparing for this large market that is the following week. And that market I am so excited for and that's what I'm going to be prepping for over the next couple weeks. So that market is about 40 minutes away. It's in a town called Anthem, Iowa and it is called the Made and Found Market Midwest. And as far as I know, I am the only cut flower vendor. It is made up of uh, home growers, pickers, crafters. It's also going to have food trucks, live music, cocktails, coffee. So it's going to be really fun. So first in this video, I just wanted to show you what is still growing good in the garden and what I'm going to be using for that big project and how I'm prepping for it over the next couple weeks. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna take you inside and show you how I've been harvesting some sunflowers so that they store much longer and how I keep the stems straight without using really tall buckets. It's working really well, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. But let me show you what I'm growing in the garden right now in preparation for that huge market. So the one area of the garden that is really just starting to come into bloom is my dahlia patch. And if you've been watching my videos over the course of the summer, you know that I was super late with getting these planted this year because of the pergola project that we did. Um, but from what I've read, dahlias, um, September is kind of their month anyway. And I'll show you a little more up close how these are doing, but they are ready to explode. All of my plants are completely covered with blooms and you can see that I have organza bags on the buds. That's to keep the bugs out. A couple weeks ago, um, the bugs really just started uh, taking over my garden, eating mainly the dahlias and the sunflowers. And so the sunflowers I am able to harvest just before they are opening so I can avoid the problem of having the bugs really eat those. But dahlias, I need to cover with the organza bags and they've been working out great. Um, so let me show you a little more up close these plants and then the other two beds that I have dahlias coming in at. Okay, so this is the largest flower bed where I have my dahlias planted. It is roughly six feet deep and 15 to 18 feet long. I pinched all of these plants off when they were about 12 to 18 inches high. So the blooms are really starting to shoot up nicely. But let me show you these organza bags a little more up close. All right, so here's a little better view for you. So you can see I put the bag right over top of the whole bud. And if there's a couple buds close together, which there is on this one, I just put it over top of the whole thing. These are six by nine white organza bags. So they're big enough for the medium sized dahlia blooms, which I think this is the decorative style. And I get white so that the light can travel through easily. Here's another one that I have some bags on. Some of these buds are really small yet, but next week I'll be covering them once they get a little bit bigger. Here's another small area of dahlia plants. I think I have about 10 in this spot. There's one that's starting to open underneath the bag. And then this is my last area of dahlia plants. These are all dahlias that I started from seed. So some of these are singles. So I'm not even bothering to put bags over top of those because I know that I don't want to use those for cut flower arrangements. But some of these are semi doubles and even doubles and I'm definitely using those in arrangements. And so I have bags over a lot of these. And as you can see, these plants are covered with blooms. 
So the next area that I'm really depending on for that large market is my sunflower patch. And so this is one big succession planting right in front of me here. The next one is behind my tomatoes behind me. Now, these were all planted at the same time, but some of them are a little further along, and I'll show you some close-ups of these, but um, these are a lot further along than those. So I'm guessing these will start opening next week. Those will start opening the week after, which would be perfect timing for that market. And at the very end of this video, I'm gonna take you inside and show you some sunflowers that I have in the cooler right now, how I'm storing those, when I'm harvesting, and how I'm keeping the necks nice and straight on them. But let me show you a few close-ups of the different stages of sunflowers I have growing right now. Here's a closer up look at one of the sunflowers that are a little further along. I'm guessing this will start to open next week. Here's another planting where the bud hasn't popped out of the plant yet. So I'm guessing these will bloom about a week after the other ones. And this is the very last batch of succession planted sunflowers that I planted. These are definitely a couple weeks out. I know they don't look very big, but these should shoot up pretty fast. Here's a look at my Xenia patch, which I harvested from this morning. This is completely covered with buds, mostly the Benry's Giants. Okay, so besides dahlias, zinnias, and sunflowers for my main focal flowers for these market bouquets, I'm also depending on some of my other filler flowers. I have a ton of gomfrina. I easily will have enough of that to fill in. I'm going to be using celosia. I'm also going to be using cosmos, and my snapdragons are all completely rejuvenating, and so I'm really excited that I'll be able to have some of those in my market bouquets as well. Okay, so let me take you inside and show you those sunflowers that I have in the cooler. Okay, so I am inside now, and these are the sunflowers that I wanted to show you guys that I've been harvesting over the last couple days. These have been kept in my cooler, and yes, they look a little silly, um, but this totally works. So first of all, the stage at which I harvest my sunflowers is when I can see the color on the petals and they are just lifting off of the face. And I do this for two reasons. First of all, they open much slower and last a lot longer that way than if you would pick them fully open. And secondly, this time of year, the bugs have not gotten to them yet. And so I can still get a really nice looking sunflower. Now, the fridge that I am putting these in is just one of those shorter, um, like dorm or wine fridges. Uh, it's probably like four feet tall or something. So I cannot fit a tall five gallon bucket in those fridges. So I am just using my 10 liter flower buckets that I get from Johnny's. And then these are just paper towel tubes. I tape these in there and then I put the sunflowers down through them and this supports the necks so they don't droop. I was finding that when I was harvesting my sunflowers and putting them in the fridge, the necks would be totally bent and then I would go to use them in flower arrangements and it was really hard to handle. So this totally saves that problem. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Um, so anyway, this is the method that I'm using for my sunflowers now till the end of the season and this is how I'm going to be harvesting all of those sunflowers that are still out in the garden so that I will be able to use them um, just in time for that market at the end of the month. All right, so that's it for this video. Make sure to stay tuned for lots of updates throughout the end of the season. I will probably be sharing with you my whole process on how I'm prepping for that really large market and then when I'm getting all of my product ready for that market. Right now, my plan is to do wrapped bouquets, um, jarred arrangements, and some dried flower crowns. So um, cross your fingers that that plan all still works out. So stay tuned for all of that, plus all my planning for next year's garden already. We'll see you soon.